hey guys today we are making baby bonnet for our 1 to 1.5 years baby and we are going to have a custom pattern for it and that custom pattern is going to have a three pieces so make sure that you print out it and now let's start with our cutting as you can see we have four pieces of pattern over here two pieces which two two pieces are in my hand which is piece one print out and it is mentioned in the uh, pattern custom pattern as well that you need to print it two times twice times so you are going to have a two pieces of it and then uh, every piece going to have a single time i'm just going to cut it on the fabric with on fold and then going to uh, split in two As you can see I am done with my cutting now what I am going to do I am taking the main head piece which is going to start from the forehead and go till the back side of the neck and just cutting it. making a basic structure of the pattern then i'm going to sharp it so you can see that i have just cut the middle part of the bonnet and now i'm going to cut the front part of the bonnet so i'm going to pick my third piece of pattern and just going to map it and make sure that is the only pattern that is need to be done on fold Now you can see that this is my front piece of bonnet. I'm just make it, making it in a proper shape according to my pattern. Let me clear you that that you should have a seam allowance over here uh, with the one upon four inch at least. You can see that I'm just shaping up the my final piece that is the main head area. And I'm just getting up my pattern. As you can see, this is not a printout pattern. This is my custom made pattern. But you need to do similar things on the with printed pattern. Now this is the done part of the our sewing. Now we are going to move with our pattern uh, sewing part this is our step to sewing part as you can see i have made a duplicate it or if you can say a copy uh, or every single piece into a, a gingham fabric piece so it is going to be a reversible baby bonnet which is going to wear from one side and another side as well what i'm doing i'm just sewing the side the piece one with my piece two from one side you can see that how it looks like now I'm going to attach my piece one second printout with my piece two I have just seen see you the the piece one two pieces with piece two and our first look of the hat is ready you can see that it gives the basic demonstration to you and we are going to replicate the step on the plain fabric as well I am taking the piece one one part and going to sew piece two on it which is which part is going to the end the main part it is mentioned in the pdf pattern as well the for, forehead part and the back neck part so be careful what when you are attaching to it because it gives a dimension to the pattern
my first piece is ready so i'm just what doing a finish seam over here so i'm going to do this in, on the gingham one as well but right now due to a seam fabric thread i am just uh, telling you the basic step wherever we did a seam we are going to have a finish seam on it this is how our piece looks like you can see that this is our main head area this is our size of head and this the same goes for this gingham one so how we are going to attach it this is the main question and i'm going to tell you that as well and you know just make sure that the main head part should be according to tell according to stitch according to the pdf guideline this is our front bonnet area so i'm just uh, sewing it you can see that how it looks like i'm just uh, folding the front side and just going to have a single seam along with the side can see that i've just done with my forehead area part which is going to have a you know uh just like a hat kind of look it gives to, to the uh, and i've just make a notch after making it into half and you can see i'm making a notch at uh, my bonnet front area so it is going to attach it over here you can see that basically i'm just attaching it with the along with the my front side of the hat as you can see we are done with our ruffles and it is looking very nice if you need to do a uh, small ruffles you can go ahead and uh, but the, i recommend that you, you must need uh, uh did a nice single single layout kind of ruffles not more not heavy one so it is like that and then what we are going to do i'm just uh, mm, removing the extra edges from the side and just seaming it and or you can see i'm just giving a light gathers on it now i'm done with my gathers you can see that it looks very beautiful now what we are going to do we are going to attach our gingham fabric along with the ruffle part the ruffle where we stitch the ruffle so basically the main plain fabric uh, the main plain fabric then the ruffles and then we are going to have the gingham fabric one so it is kind of under stitch thing you can see that we are done with our front side and it looks like this one our head is almost ready we just need to pack the back side and going to attach the bias tape along with it you can see that is a very light light uh, ruffles and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to have a finish seam along with the ruffle line
here you go we are done with our finished seam I'm just removing the extra thread and this is the cap our bonnet is already ready so what we are going to do we are going to have a bias stick and as I already written down the pattern ma measurement in the pattern but it is for 1 inch or 1.25 inch in width and 34 inch in length what we need to do we need to start making our strap of on fold and just going to have a single seam along with it just did a single seam and after doing the average part you can say that 10% uh, or 15% after doing the 10% to 15% I'm going to stop it and then I'm going to insert my bonnet into it and seal it you can see that I'm done with my at least 10% part I'm going to attach it from here just mapping it if you are new one uh, you can map it before you start making bad step I'm just removing the extra stuff so if you have any extra stuff just remove it um, like this one and make a notch so you have an idea where you need to stop because we are going to have a little bit get us on it as well I've made a bass tape like this and going to attach like this one going to attach the head along with this so this is the main idea you can make a bias tape by yourself and then just uh, if you are not a new beginner then you can do this in a super easy way if you want to give a little bit gathers on the just in the middle part of the bonnet at the back side you can do that as well it looks very nice I didn't do that because we need to make it a uh, super simple and super easy to use So we are just done with our end part of it. I don't make any uh, fabulous thing at the end of it. I've just to make them a raw and just it is a final step of our dress and it looks like very nice reversible kind of cap. Uh, you can wear it from the both side. And I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you have any question regarding this uh, baby bonnet let us know and the pattern is uh, with you guys so hopefully you like this one